Well, hey everyone, uh, it's me, Lad from the Woods here. Well, first things out of my mouth is we're on a brand new phone, an S22 5G Ultra, um, which uh, Telus so happily sent me like right away. <laughs> I think I only talked to her on Monday or Tuesday and it arrived yesterday. So anyway, I spent the day transferring everything off the old phone and uh, so now it's on here. They offered me a tablet for free uh, with a $10 a month, uh, like an LTE c c connection so I can use it. Thing is, uh, by the t uh, they wanted like $305 for that. So, you know, but I mean, it's like uh, you pay the monthly thing. And uh, so it was free, but not free kind of deal. But anyways, um, I know that's kind of confusing. It's kind of hard to explain the way they explained it to me. But anyway, what it come down to is, is that once I check the, the features and the, um, the um, everything that it had, like the camera and all that, it turns out that my old phone, which I'm supposed to return because I'm on like a, you know, a buyback where they buy it back and everything. And I'm going, well, they're, you know, they uh, saying that I only owe a balance of $190 on the phone. And I'm thinking, you know what? That phone takes better pictures and video. I've emptied it from all my programs. So there's a ton of room. I'm, I think I'm just going to keep that phone, the S20 5G Ultra. And uh, I'm not using it as a phone. I'm just going to use it for recording. And, uh, you know, because I'm finding using these phones are a lot easier than the GoPro. And it looks a lot better. Anyways, it's 6.30 in the a.m. That's enough phone talk. I'm just having, I've been up, I was, I took a nap earlier, like at around, I don't know, 9 o'clock. and woke up around 1 a.m., 1.30. So the snowplow had came here at 5.30 a.m. So I'm like, okay. Now the U-Haul uh, people called and they need the band back. And I'm like, well, I haven't received my new truck yet. Uh, you know, things are still on the move there. And uh, so he says, well, we'll just give you a box truck. I'm like, oh, God, it just keeps getting worse, right? Anyways, uh, I said, all right, fine. But he wants to ban there for 11 a.m. if possible. And uh, so I'm going to wait till light out and start that van up and get it warmed up. Uh, hopefully with what the plow guy did I can get out of here with it because uh, I wasn't getting out here the other day anyways uh, so yeah it's got to go back now on the other side of things with the truck uh, still going through the you know the bank process it should be approved this morning um, they needed just one last thing yesterday from me um, so like okay yeah and they got it right away what they needed so uh, hopefully, maybe, cross my fingers that I can pick up that truck today and just get rid of that U-Haul. So we'll be bringing home the, the new Ram. Um, but yeah, that's where things are. So I'm up early, so I thought I'd do a video and uh, have a coffee, and uh, there we go. So um, it'll be light here in about an hour or so, and... Uh, so we'll have a look at the van then, if I can get her started up early enough. Well, it'll start. It's not that. It's not like it's going to start. It's going to start. It's like whether I can get it out because, I mean, there's no weight in the back or anything. And I'm pretty sure uh, my fellow that does the plowing didn't put any sand down. Uh, I'm going to have to ask his boss to make sure he starts putting sand down here. I know he's supposed to do it for my mother as well so she can walk to the mailbox uh, Safely because her lane weighs about three times longer than mine from where the house is set back to the road And there's you know, it's not smooth so but she loves that walk and she's not going to stop at 81 She's like I need to keep walking. I'm like, oh hell. Yes, you do so anyway uh, That's what they're supposed to do so anyway uh, Hopefully like I say I can get that uh, machine out and it all works out Maybe at the same time I can pick up the pickup truck so little bit of hashish for the morning wake up <coughs> well wake up I've been up for a few hours so I've been editing and uh, scheduling videos for lad from the woods 
I'm waiting for one piece for this phone. Well, not specifically for this phone, but I need one more piece. Uh, that's, it should be delivered today if all goes well uh, from Canada Post. And um, if not, then tomorrow. But it's another type of tripod, but it's got the uh, two things on it. So, because I'm, I'm going to use a mirror and film from the other side of this of this phone camera, because the other side has got better, you know, better quality and stuff like that. So, but I still need to see this screen. So this thing here kind of sits there, and then you can look at the mirror and see what's in the screen. And uh, so, yeah, I ordered that a week, so it should be. Uh, I, I checked the tracking this morning, and it looks like it's. Uh, going to be here today from the looks of things so we'll see uh the weather's been pretty shitty with the snow and i mean uh, we had that big you know once in a generation storm you gotta love americans eh like for us this is like psh, everyday occurrence here in canada but uh except for people in toronto you know anything over three inches fuck they call the army and anyways um i forgot what i was saying uh Oh, yeah, so then, you know, we've gotten a couple of snowfalls in between since last uh, Friday, Saturday. This is Thursday already. And uh, so the, um, you know, they've been plowing the main road kind of thing, but uh, it's not been easy for the post office guys. So and they were off Monday because it's a holiday. Tuesday, they were still cleaning up here. So he, I ran into him. Was it Tuesday I was out and about when I ran into him? Uh, no. The post office guy, John, he stopped by here yesterday to bring me a package. And I'm like, well, what, like, are you delivering? And he's like, yeah, I'm just doing the odd package. And I knew I had one for you. So he says, I come out. And I said, well, I said, if you're going to go down to mom's, I said, uh, she won't be able to come out until she gets plowed. Because we hadn't been plowed. She just got plowed, like, probably 20 minutes after me. But she, well, she's up now, but she won't go out to the mail until around 2 in the afternoon because that's when generally they come, assuming this weather hasn't screwed up everything. Because, like I say, it's everything is behind. It's not their fault. I mean, you know, he's driving like a little Subaru van, minivan, or some kind of make like that. And uh, it's not four wheel drive, it's a two wheel front drive. Although, saying that, he pulled me out with that van here the other day with that thing. I was really surprised that he was able to do it, but he did her. But, uh, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say yesterday we probably got another, oh, I don't know, maybe four or five inches of snow on top of the foot and a quarter or foot and a half of snow we got on last Friday, Saturday. So now the weather is supposed to change. Get this one, man. So after all that storm, and it gets all super cold, the whole mess, right? Hang on. I'm just pulling up the weather for here. Check this out, man. Uh, minus one right now, and it's a little bit of light snow, it says. Today, it's going up to plus five Celsius, okay? So for you Americans, that's five and five is 10, add 30. So that's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I'm going, okay, that's gonna melt a lot of snow because it's gonna be sunny. It's only going down to plus four Celsius tonight. So it's not even going below freezing. And then Friday, check this out. We're gonna be eight Celsius in the day and plus four Celsius in the night. Plus eight Celsius, okay? That's eight and eight is 16, add 30, that's 46. You're just getting close to 10 Celsius, which is 50. Then on Saturday, it's gonna be plus four, a little bit cooler again, but we're gonna have rain all day. And uh, it stays above zero until like next Wednesday or Thursday. So can you imagine? Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna lose quite a bit of snow here. And uh, then it's going to be going back down to cold again uh, after next Wednesday so but not super super cold and uh, I'm learning now that like you know I, I'm sure we gonna, we're going to get out ice fishing I'm not worried about that I've already seen people out but um, this, uh, the, the issue is still the grizzly I haven't uh, gotten that fixed yet because I need the pickup truck to pull the trailer to move the bike to my friend's garage so I can work on it yeah so then the week after 
it's uh, we get one or two days of the minus temperatures and then it's back up to like right at zero and uh, yeah this is a really strange winter we're having like this is the warmest start I've seen in quite some time and like uh, I've said in other videos it's just coming in little bursts right like uh, we get this little like week where it's cold and proper winter and then boom it's gone and then it comes back and then boom and now twice in a row we've gotten the big snowstorms with the weather change so now this time the weather change rain so anyway I'll uh, shut this off for the moment I uh, I'll update you as I uh, go along and I'll take you with me when I go out to start the, the van and stuff and you guys can see uh, the winter wonderland here at camp so so that's about it for now and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple hours I might even take just a quick nap I just don't want to fall asleep and stay asleep so hopefully my Italian roast coffee won't let that happen Okay, we'll see you guys in a bit. See you. Bye.